Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, so recently I just posted the Wrath, kind of best Hopeness Lab abilities for Wrath. Uh, the exact same thing, except for my guy, Scorpion Giovanni. I'll be talking about him. Everybody loves him. Everybody knows him. Arguably the most important hero in the game. His abilities are equally as important to get them right. So stay tuned. Enjoy. And hey, you can copy my build if you want, or take what I say, take what I do. Either way, you know. It's gonna work out for y'all. Enjoy. All right, so let's jump right into it with Scorpion. Uh, like I said in the intro, he's basically the best hero in the game, bar none, at least until the new guys come out. Who knows, maybe they're gonna be crazy or they're just gonna shut down Scorpion. I, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, until then, Scorpion is the best hero in the game, so you might as well have the best stats on him right we'll find out so like i did previously i'm going to go over the normal abilities first and then the advanced abilities then i'm going to talk about the preferences what you should select um, and see how we can go from there first things first i'll talk about my uh, personal abilities they might not be the best in the world so don't just pause the video and take them i mean you can it, it's really good but you know there, there could be even better, all right? So first things first, I have group resistance plus 15. I have toxic erosion, which is exclusive basically to Scorpion and I, Phantom Walker. You have tactical might plus 30% and you have damage plus 5%. So like I said, these aren't the actual best, best, best in the game. Um, there are better. Uh, so let's just talk about them. First things first, the normal abilities. I use the regular just ability records because it's a much, much simpler interface to talk about and I can kind of go through one by one and say, take it, don't, take it, don't. Eh, if you want, you know. So, my plus 30 is a 100% take right away. It doesn't matter, just take it, period. Um, it's gonna, it works incredibly well with with Scorpion, and it's just a really good take. So just take it right away. Resistance plus 30, also a solid, solid take. Um, personally, I would take it right away. So I used to have my Scorpion set up. He was fully offensive. So I had all Might or Tactical Might. It worked pretty well. I changed it all to Resistance. Basically, regular Resistance or, or Tactical Resistance. It worked practically the exact same i'm not gonna lie there, there was very little difference um besides the fact that it was still beast so in my opinion scorpion is one of those few few heroes just like wrath coincidentally that you can almost take any of these attributes as long as they're the good ones and it's going to be totally fine so don't stress over getting might if you get resistance take it or conversely don't stress over getting resistance if you get might take it so that, that's going to be my advice. HP plus 10, from my experience, HP plus 10 is like just a little bit worse than resistance plus 30. Um, again, this is in my experience, and my experience is basically only against super max bases. So this might differ um, kind of depending on what, you know, what what kind of league you're in, I guess. Like if you if you fight most mainly free to players or, or small spenders, um, HP actually might be better. If you're fighting big uber max bases with like a million might, um, resistance plus 30 actually seems to do a little bit better for, for myself, but overall they're, they're almost exactly the same. So just take HP plus 10 if you want. Tactical might plus 30. So, um, I would take tactical might plus 30. Yes. Um, I would take my over tactical might plus 30, but that's, we're not going to get into that in this video. Tactical resistance plus 30. I would definitely take it. And it's basically uh, equivalent to resistance plus 30 damage plus five. I would take it. Um, from my experience, again, that is just my experience, um, my plus 30 is actually a little bit better than damage plus 5. That's all. Uh, the other ones that I would definitely lock in, um, skill damage plus 10, I would lock it in, but again, might is just going to be better. That's just how it is. Even regular damage is better than skill damage from, again, experience. But uh, yeah, so skill damage is kind of on the lower end of would I take it or not. Group Might, I would definitely take. Group Resistance, I would definitely take. Group Tactical Might, I would take. Group Tactical Resistance, I would definitely take. Everything else is like an automatic hell no. Um, 
none of the siege, none of the fight, none of the counters, and normal attack damage. Uh, not taking any of those. So that's about it for the ability records. What I recommend is basically just getting them all gold. Um, Scorpion's a hero that you definitely just want to use all of your resources on, basically, for now at least. Um, so definitely just get three normal ability golds. You use up all your crystals, really. Uh, not literally all of your crystals, but it's worth it to use more crystals on this guy than on basically any other hero in the game. So now let's talk about the advanced abilities. Um, because again, advanced abilities are definitely where more people have questions on. So what are the advanced abilities I would take? Well, I have Toxic Erosion on mine. Personally, I think it's incredible. Um, it's basically just plus 15% damage, period. Uh, because like 95% of Scorpion's damage comes from poison. The 5% comes from basic attacks. So it's basically just plus 15% damage, which is insane. Uh, it's like three gold damage plus fives. So very, very good ability to take. Um, and obviously I would take it. The other ones that I would definitely take right away are again, temporary preparedness. Um, just like with Wrath, temporary preparedness is basically just good on every single hero. Again, it's not like a huge game changer, but healing is crucial. It's, it's really, really crucial. Um, in this game, the way that healing works is you actually end up dealing more damage. If you heal, you also are going to, you know, at the end of the battle, you, you will have taken less damage. So it's just overall, it's really, really good. It's, it's good offense and it's good defense, which is very bizarre, but that's just how it works. Um, so temporary preparedness is definitely good. There are more and more heroes are coming out that kind of are blocking healing, like Scorpion, for example. So in the cases where you really need to beat Scorpion, which is one of Scorpion's best attributes, is beating enemy scorpions um, in that case temporary preparedness is not too good but if you're just crushing bases with the scorpion apc temporary preparedness is going to be really really good because you know you can go through 20 apcs as long as you just keep recovering over and over uh, you'll just keep wiping out apcs efficient treatment is also pretty solid this is kind of a little bit more dependent on your combo so you know if you're if you're running with like a dawn for example then efficient treatment's solid and i would take it generally i, I would be taking efficient treatment Tactical Inversion, I would definitely take Tactical Inversion. Um, again, skill damage is just more important than normal attack damage, but it's not its not like the top of the list. I would take Greed for sure. You basically just gain HP on damage. Um, really, really, really solid. Um, surprise Attack, I would take Surprise Attack depending on the combo. Um, so you can run a combo like uh, Heaven's Redemption, Scorpion, Cannon S. In that case, I would definitely take Surprise Attack because you basically just deal more damage to CC'd targets. So if your combo has a lot of CC, like that Heaven's Redemption, Scorpion, Cannon S combo I was just talking about, uh, you're going to be dealing a lot of damage, plus 30% damage to CC targets. And in that combo, they're going to be CC'd a lot of the time. Not all the time, though. So it's not literally 30%, but it's still pretty damn good. However, if you're running other co other combos, it's it's going to be a little bit worse. So take that as you will. Potential Unleashed, um, it's one of those that I probably would take, especially because Huntress is a Scorpion Killer. A lot of people are putting Huntress basically in their APCs just to kill Scorpion. So the fact that you'll... Well, first, you're going to go below 50% HP if you're facing up against the Huntress. You might survive because of the 100% resistance, and then you're just going to deal a boatload of damage. So I would take Potential Unleashed. I would definitely take Full of Vigor. Uh, you just gain like 100% might um, when you have a lot of HP. Really, really, really strong. Preemptive Strike is one of those that I would take, but again, not high on the list. Um, you move first in the first four turns. This is really good on a mirror matchup, but other than that, it's not terribly important. You also deal a little bit more damage, but it's basically just about the mirror matchup, to be 100% uh, honest. Um, other than that, uh, I would take an trial depending on the combo or depending who I'm against. For the most part, I would ignore Endless Trial. I see a lot of people running it on Scorpion. Um, in my opinion, it's not that great. It's going to take a really, really long time to ramp up, but you can, if you want, uh, I mean, if, if you do have it, I'm not going to be like, Ooh, this guy, you know, has the wrong ability. It's just not going to be as good. And then killer magician definitely take, um, killer magician is one of those that I would pretty much take on every single hero in the game. Um, 
Scorpion is no different. So everything else I basically wouldn't take. Um, or like I would only take if I had to. Uh, these ones I would take purple, gold, maybe blue for some of them. Probably not. Um, I just, again, I feel like Scorpion is just such an important, crucial character that I would really only take purple or gold um, on my advanced abilities on Scorpion. So, but again, that is just me. Decay energy is really, really hard to come by, so I understand, but um, it's probably worth it on Scorpion. So now I'm gonna talk about my preferences. Um, my preferences for Scorpion are gonna be Toxic Erosion. Again, that 50% damage is really, really, really good. Um, Killer Magician, uh, just like, it's so consistent, so good. Triggers every round, you get might, you get resistance, you, you steal it. Well, overall, it's just really, really good. And then probably Full of Vigor. Um, potentially potential unleashed uh especially if you're if you know if you're thinking of if you always just die to huntress basically potential unleash is a really good option greed is a pretty good option as well it's going to work really well if you're killing bases i would take it if that's you know your main goal is to just get through like huge garrisons for example you know if you're the monster and you're in your alliance and your role is to get through garrisons in eden for example Definitely take greed. You're going to be able to plow through, um, or temporary preparedness. So it's it's going to kind of depend. I would probably take greed um, as my third option, just because you, you you just gain a lot from it. Really, you, you do end up gaining a lot from greed. So that's kind of how I would do it. And it's pretty cool. I get two skulls. Not that that means anything at all, but uh, just semi interesting. So toxic erosion, killer magician, and greed would be my. Uh, three preferences on scorpion so that's about it guys on scorpion he's like i said he's he's super super adaptive so you can kind of use any normal ability honestly like most of them and even the advanced abilities there's a lot of options for this guy um he is one of those heroes again i know i've said it like twice or probably like five times by now but i'm going to say it again it's one of those heroes that you should focus on Max your Scorpion out before a lot of your other heroes. You're going to thank me later, maybe. Maybe you'll thank me now. Who knows? Anyway, that's it for Scorpion, guys. The one last thing I want to say about these Hoping It's Not videos. These top recommended ability leaderboard crap, ignore it almost completely. A lot of time, these are, these are not going to be terribly accurate. Um... For example, uh, I'm just going to pick on some of these guys up here. It doesn't mean that they, that their abilities suck or anything. It just, you know, it might not be the best to the best, but for whatever reason, at the very top of the leaderboard. So skill damage uh, dealt plus 10, skill damage dealt plus 10, HP plus 10. Those are all solid, solid choices. Like I said, for whatever reason, might uh, seems to just be better than skill damage, period. But nobody is really, really maxing out all these. They're, they'd be kind of insane, too. And then auto strike. So a lot of people run auto strike because it looks like it, it's insanely good, 100% damage each round, but it's literally an auto attack. It's just a single basic attack every round and it doesn't proc any special abilities. So it's basically just like an extra 2000 damage every round. 2000 damage every round is not bad. I mean, overall you get an extra, what, 16,000 damage basically. Um, but, so, I mean, definitely take it. it, it an extra 16,000 damage is never going to go un unneeded, but it's not going to be, like, the best of the best of the best. Um, so that's all I, all I have to say. It, this is really good. I would, I would certainly take this, this, this. I would probably take, honestly, almost all of these. However, yeah, well, most of these Scorpion ones are pretty solid. Um... So that's cool. <laughs> but a lot of times these leaderboard things are just going to be like completely random. So don't just look in here and be like, oh, the top guy. Let me just copy this exactly. Oh, it says he has skill damage plus 10. I rolled might plus 30. That's not skill damage plus 10. So like, that's all I'm saying is, is be, take these with a grain of salt. At least for Scorpion, it actually looks like they're, they're pretty good. Um, but I can show you 
you know, just some other random ones. Sometimes there will be like blue skills in here and just random, random stuff. Um, yeah, so Siege Attacker Resistance plus 30 is, I mean, basically useless. So, like, I don't know why this has seven upvotes, but. And blue Attacker Resistance? I don't know. So that's what I mean is it's just. Don't really look at that at all. It's it's 100% irrelevant. Um, so that's all I wanted to say. Other than that, guys, hopefully you kit out your scorpions. As always, if you have questions on, for example, do I take blue potential unleashed or gold reaper's scythe? Uh, something like that. Those questions happen a lot. Let me know if you're in a situation like that. Um, reach out to me. I'll try to help you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. It basically comes down to a one-on-one -on -one basis. Sometimes it's going to come down to your APC, so also give me your heroes as well, or rather which APC it's in, and hopefully I'll be able to help you out from there. Otherwise, guys, enjoy. Hopefully you kit out your scorpions and start wrecking some face. Please, if you see me, don't attack. Thank you. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Wake up early mornings, late nights, hopping on a different flight. What's the meaning of life, eh? Wake up, same ish, different day. Make a wish, call it pray. Am I sick? Am I okay, eh? Stay up.